Hey folks, Crazy Clown Radio here again. And this time we're going to look at game number 15 in our 20 from 1988 series. And this is a, an all-time classic by Taito. I think it's a bit overrated. It, I feel it's like Kung Fu Master with, uh, with uh, robot ninjas. But this is called The Ninja Warriors. And this came in a really wide cabinet with uh, multiple screens. Three screens wide. And... Uh, you have a joystick to move your robot ninja around, and you can play two-player simultaneous play if you like. Player one will be um, uh, Red Ninja, uh, and it's a f kind of a female, female-built ninja. And uh, player two is the uh, male ninja, I believe that's correct, and they're blue. But um, you have a uh, what's called a kunai and it's a dagger and you also have limited use of uh, shurikens in order to take down the enemies but it's a lot like kung fu master the enemies just keep coming they come from the left and they come from the right um now the gist of the story i guess is that the president of the united states is evil and wants to make the uh, the military in control of everybody's lives and a team of scientists creates a couple of robot ninjas to uh, go and take him out and he's got total control of the military and you see a whole lot of soldiers they're gonna be the uh, fodder enemies to uh, jump you push up on the joystick and you will have to take on tanks once in a while. Now one thing that you can do that I don't think the game tells you that you can do uh, or how to do it is that you can do a somersault forward uh, when you take enough uh, damage to uh, deplete your life bar you'll explode and you have to spend a continue you don't get extra lives but uh, to do a somersault forward and this can be very useful uh, you hold the uh, kunai button down and you will when you do that you'll use it for defensive purposes like to block bullets but you will need to push up and forward when you do that and you'll do a somersault flip forward and you can land uh, behind certain enemies to be able to take them out easier now two things I will definitely give this game uh, props for is its graphics are fantastic and the music is terrific I think that's what drew people most but this uh, ended up having a couple follow-ups. One was called The Ninja Warriors again in 1994, and The Ninja Warriors once again in 2019. But um, I remember seeing this in arcades. I, I was never as enamored as uh, other people were of this game. Sometimes uh, there will be a commander and uh, you can either waste them real quick or uh, you can let them stay on the screen long enough to shout retreat and they run off now here is a mini boss there will be mini bosses every once in a while and that uh, hunchback guy is super easy I just duck facing away from him and move forward a little bit and let him come up behind me and when he's almost right behind me I'll turn around and use my dagger uh, your dagger or a kunai is uh, is good for uh, close range attacks like with these uh, fodder soldier enemies and there's a guy with a mortar um, because you're uh, sorry for the screen kind of changing there uh, I couldn't really help that I was uh, recording with bandicam and uh, I had to, uh, I can't remember what exactly happened, but, uh, the, uh, the parameters got kind of messed up. 
but um, yeah, you can hold down the kunai button and you'll uh, and you'll be able to block enemy bullets with it. And then if you push up and forward, you'll, you'll do a somersault, and you might be able to get behind like a mini boss or a boss that way and attack them from the other side and just keep doing it. This game's very, very, very hard. Um, there are six stages, and they take you through uh, uh, kind of slums. Um, there's the uh, army base. There's a hangar. There's uh, city streets. There's a sewer, and there's a presidential building where you have to face the evil president. And his name is Banglar, I think. And it turns out I think that he's a robot. But uh, as you get attacked, you might be able to see. <laughs> oh, we have to kill doggies. <laughs> um. There are great sound effects, as well as great music and great graphics in this game. Um, but yeah, the game's, the game's really, really difficult. It seems that sometimes in the game, um, if, you, if you perhaps meet certain criteria, like you do really well or something, you might see a different... Uh, a different uh, a group of enemies than if you didn't do so well or didn't do something or another. I hate when enemies surround you. And here is the first boss. Like I said, might be a good idea to do the somersault to get behind them. If you get them to consistently jump around you, then you've got it made. When you defeat... Uh, Mini bosses or bosses, they will give you extra shurikens. So if you run out of shurikens, there's there's ways to get them back. But I don't really like to use the shurikens very often. This uh, had several home ports. Um, one of them was the uh, the Mega CD, uh, known in America as the Sega CD. But it might have just been a uh, Japanese uh, release. Now we're going to face that tank. Go to the far left. For some reason, you don't actually see the, uh, the cannon fire until there's an explosion on the ground. That's kind of messed up. But here is where you want to use your shurikens for sure. Try to, uh, try to hit the guy in the, uh, in the tank. Uh, steering the tank, and when the when you go to the other side of the tank and it starts following you, jump forward and turn around in midair and throw a shuriken at him. When you hit him enough, then he's dead and the tank will stop moving towards you. Now things get really tough right here because uh, when you duck, the uh, fodder soldiers like to jump kick you, and when you have enemies to the left and right shooting at you, it's really tough to avoid getting hit. And this game gets very, very hard. And sometimes there will be some sort of gangster guy uh, hanging around the edge of a building taking shots at you. Yeah, like I said, you don't, uh, you don't get extra lives. I hate this guy. Definitely, whoops, definitely use the somersault to get behind him. His fire really frickin' hurts. So try to avoid getting hit. And again, you only get one life. Um, you can continue right, right where you left off. The exact spot where you died. You will have to uh, restart your score. When you complete a stage, uh... I think you go back to uh, 30 shurikens remaining. Or when you start a, a game, you get 30 uh, shurikens. I think maybe depending on whether you got shot will show uh, how much how much damage you've got. You'll see uh, 
you'll see your uh, robotic skeleton start to show through. I mean, you'll see, uh, you'll... Oops. Doggy killed me. <laughs> and, yeah, you'll get your opportunity to continue here. But I'm gonna let the uh, time run out. We will see snippets of the rest of the game. And I'll put in my initials here. That is the Ninja Warriors. I like how uh, they have a computer voice <laughs> telling you the letters that you selected. <laughs> That's kind of cool. And I'm, I'm not super enamored with the uh, Ninja Warriors. And we're just going to see snippets of the remainders of the levels, but yeah, that uh, that uh, um, hunchback is super easy to deal with. But yeah, there's me more using a uh, more shurikens, and now you can see me uh, my uh, skeleton, my uh, robot skeleton showing through. Yeah, the uh, soundtrack was universally praised. Understandably, it is terrific, and the graphics are very, very, very well done. We will see another uh, another tank battle at the end of uh, stage two. And again, from a distance, just start jumping and chucking stars. He'll try to he'll try to duck and not get hit. Touching the tank will will hurt you. By this point, you've you've noticed that I put on invincibility. Invincibility or uh, infinite energy G. But yeah, once you hit the guy enough, he falls out of the tank and dies. And then the uh, the tank will drive backwards on its own. <laughs> and you'll eventually get to uh, clear the level. You'll have to go to the far right on your own. The game won't automatically make you. Yeah, you cannot uh, get extra lives in this game. Now we are in the uh, um, hangar. This is the third stage. There will be these uh, low-hanging pipes every once in a while. And uh, if your ninja walks up to them, he, will, he or she will automatically duck. And the, uh, the female ninja, the red one, the Kunoichi, she has uh, really long blonde hair. <laughs> and now we start to see the uh, flying ninjas. When you see them, stop. And then they'll be within range of your uh, kunai. You can easily take them out. There will be multiple floors in this hangar. And you go to the base of the stairs and push up. Or, uh, or down if there's uh, stairs descending. <laughs> I like I like seeing the guys come up to the pipes. They can't go under the pipes like you can. Sometimes they'll run up to the pipe and try to jump kick it. It looks very funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't go through uh, pipes in your way. If you see a pipe in your way, that means that can't go further, and you'll need to take stairs. And now we're menaced by these annoying bastards, these uh, blue ninjas. Yeah, we're just gonna scoot forward to uh, various parts of the later stages. And here's that, uh, that same ninja that we saw at the end of uh, the first stage but yeah if you can get them into a jump into a jumping motion uh, to the left and right of you repeatedly then uh, that's what you that's what you hope for you can just turn around and slash them with the kunai each time it sucks that the uh, soldiers can't shoot each other that would be really useful 
I hate this guy. Uh, he's got a big old uh, ball and chain. Uh, and uh, blocking with your uh, kunai, you know, holding down the kunai button and using the blocking stance, uh, his ball and chain will smack you backwards. We'll just scoot forward to me killing him. He takes a lot of hits to destroy, or uh, to kill. Yeah, there were several uh, home ports. Um, was there a Super Nintendo one? I can't remember for sure. Uh, I don't remember what uh, what type of Yamaha this game uses for uh, sound effects. Uh, the uh, the sounds didn't match at this point. Sorry. I uh, I had to uh, edit uh, the later parts of my video, and for some reason that uh, that screwed with the. Uh, sound sinking. Now we go through a uh, park here. And <laughs> there's a there's a tank in the park. <laughs> but yeah, just stay in the far corner. You you got to know when a tank is going to appear in the game and then when you get to that point, you back up to the far left and wait for all the explosions to die down. And then you just jump and throw shurikens and hope that you hit him and he doesn't duck under him. And then uh, once you get past the tank, and you want to you wanna take care that the uh, swiveling turret doesn't smack you, and then they drop down into the sewers. Uh, once you get past the tank, then you need to head right and jump and then turn around and chuck a shuriken in midair. And hit the, uh, hit the guy enough, hit the, uh, uh, the pilot of the tank enough so that it'll fall over dead and then the tank won't follow you anymore. We now have uh, bats in this area that you have to contend with. And there will be uh, low ceilings. And again, the, uh, the soldiers can't, uh, can't duck under the low, low parts of the ceilings and they won't jump kick if uh, there's not enough room for them to do it. Yeah, it's better just to let that uh, hunchback guy approach from behind and try to attack you and then duck slash him. Well, it's almost, uh, almost summer. Actually, I think it is officially summer now. Uh, but we're, we're still getting a lot of overcast or uh, rainy days been a very wet year so far uh, in my neck of the woods. And there's that stupid uh, ball and chain guy again. God, I really hate him. He's annoying. You really have to, I guess, have patience and wait for him to swing his ball and chain. And then uh, jump and hope your timing's right if it's uh, a low swing. And then land in front of him and attack him, and then maybe a somersault the other way. And now we're at the uh, presidential building. Note that I don't really like to, uh, and that I gave myself infinite time. <laughs> if you run out of time, you will blow up, and uh, you'll have to spin a continue. Now we have these. Uh, robot guards that shoot lasers at you. You can't destroy the guards. 
And you'll have more areas where you can uh, climb stairs or descend stairs. There will be some, uh, some dead ends and you'll have to backtrack if you go the wrong way. Needless to say, those lasers really hurt. <laughs> but yeah, this is a three-screen wide game, uh, like uh, like Taito's uh, Darius or Darius. I hate that. I hate that guy. His his fire really, 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 really hurts. And I think by this point, I just said screw it. I've got invincibility on. But we will eventually see. Uh, 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 what was it? Ba Banglar, the uh, the uh, president of the United States? Like I said, I think he is a robot. I think you see his robotic head when you destroy him. See, there's a dead end wall, and we're about to uh, face Banglar. And he all you have to do is go up and, and slash him. There he is. Attack. <laughs> And once you defeat all his minions, or come close to, uh, or battle his minions, he will run off. And, uh, like I said, all you have to do is go up and slash him. He can draw a pistol and fire shots at you. And he runs up against the wall and cowers. You get a pretty bad ending if you succeed. <laughs> it's kind of lame. Somebody blows you up. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. And that's, I guess, your superiors that blew you up. Or maybe someone in the military wanted to, wanted Banglar dead. But yeah, it looked like uh, Banglar had a robotic face. And then they blow up not only you, but the... uh broke out, and everything came to an end. <laughs> the troubled country seemed to be finished by the death of the wicked machine. But peace did not come. Because the, the machines were wicked? Are the immortal <laughs> murder machines. <laughs> At any rate, um, yeah, they blow up you and the uh, presidential building. And that's the end of uh, the Ninja Warriors. Now we see the credits. Yeah, I... Uh, one thing I want to mention is that the, uh, the title screen says 1987... But uh, the game was actually released in 1988, from, from what I've heard. But that is the Ninja Warriors, and I thought it was kind of overrated, but I do really like the graphics and the music in this, and the sound effects. That's probably what drew uh, most gamers to the game. I saw this at a Nickel Arcade, and I've probably seen it at other arcades as well. But yeah, don't forget to use your uh, your uh, forward uh, somersault jump, uh, and that is performed by holding down the kunai button, the dagger button, to adopt a defensive stance to block bullets, and then press uh, forward and up, and you will do a uh, jumping uh, somersault, and that is uh, useful for landing behind. Uh, sub bosses or bosses and then attack them from behind before they can turn around and get you and then just keep repeating but it's really it's really hard to focus on a, a mini boss when there's multiple uh, soldiers trying to attack you or uh, soldiers trying to shoot you from either side ah, it sucks <laughs> this game is really difficult But, yeah, released, released in 1988, not 87. But that is The Ninja Warriors, created by Taito, and revered as, as a classic. I, I feel it's a little bit overrated, but definitely worth checking out. Definitely worth a spot on my uh, 20 from 1988 list, I think. But just kind of a glorified kung fu master with ninja robots and, uh, and weapons. I'll put in my initials for having beaten the game. Got uh, number one. 
I do like a uh, sound wave there telling me the letters that I selected. <laughs> That's the Ninja Warriors. And now we're going to look at a little bit of a two-player simultaneous play. Yeah, player one is uh, Red, the uh, Kunoichi, the female with the long flowing blonde hair. And player two is the blue male ninja. Uh, I might have given invincibility just to player one, but player two does not have it. I think I decided to uh, to finish this uh, stage here. <laughs> yeah, you can elect to kill that commander, and if you don't, then they'll run off and yell, Retreat! Yeah, the soundtrack is... is very much held in high regard and uh, I think it's like a collector's item of the uh, CD release. Yeah, those hunchbacks are the easiest uh, mini boss in the whole game. But uh, the mini bosses and the bosses are the ways to get uh, more uh, shurikens in this game. Or you can complete a level. I feel so bad when I when I hear doggies die in a game. I like dogs. I nev never really used to think of myself as a dog person, but they are pretty cool. My dog is, uh, she's getting up there in years. She's probably about Probably about 13 or so. She's still still able to get around just fine. She, you can see uh, some white hair on her on her face and on her on her belly. <laughs> yeah, if you can get that uh, ninja into a jumping match, jumping on either side of you, then you can definitely. Uh, make short work of them. Uh, in some instances, they might uh, they might throw a smoke bomb and disappear before you can finish them off. But that is uh, the Ninja Warriors, uh, created in 1988 by Taito, one of their all-time classics. And it uh, appeared in uh, wide ROM star cabinets. Well, this is Crazy Clam Race, and thanks for watching the Ninja Warriors game number 15 in our 20 from 1988 series. And I hope you join me soon for game number 14. Bye bye, folks.